Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, let us journey together on how to type on your Mac without a keyboard and control the cursor without a mouse or trackpad. So, let's get started. Let's begin with a scenario. Your keyboard has broken and you need to type on your Mac temporarily until you get a replacement. Don't worry, there's a solution. Start by going to the Apple menu and selecting System Preferences. Inside System Preferences, navigate to Keyboard and enable Show Keyboard and Emoji Viewers in the menu bar. This will add a new icon to your menu bar. But if you can see the Show Keyboard and Emoji Viewers in the menu bar, like this one I'm showing you, then alternatively, you can activate the Keyboard Viewer through Accessibility. Head to the Accessibility Settings, click on Keyboard and enable the Accessibility Keyboard. If you don't see a keyboard layout that suits you, don't fret. You can explore custom panels by clicking on the settings icon. There, you'll find various keyboards layouts to choose from. You can also fine-tune the appearance and behavior of the keyboard viewer to match your preferences. With the keyboard viewer setup, you can type anything. I bet at a slightly slower pace than with a physical keyboard. Nevertheless, it is a valuable option in emergencies. Now, let's explore cursor control when your mouse or trackpad is out of commission. Imagine your pointing device is broken and you need to navigate your Mac using only the keyboard. Enter mouse keys. Ideally, you might have a setting where you can press the option key five times to enable mouse keys, allowing you to control the cursor with your keyboard. Try rapidly pressing the Option key 5 times. If you see mouse keys activate, you are good to go. You can move the cursor left with the UK, right with O, down with K, and up with 8. Diagonal movements are possible using the keys around 8 like I, 7, 9, and so on. Holding down a key will make the cursor move faster. To disable mouse keys, Simply hit the Option key 5 times again. If the Option key trick doesn't work for you, you can use Option plus Command plus F5 to access accessibility options where you can enable mouse keys. But what if neither of these methods works? In that case, you may need to access System Preferences to enable one of these shortcuts. One way to do it is to use Control plus F2 to focus on the menu bar and navigate with arrow keys. However, this method can be unreliable for some users. A more reliable approach is to use command plus shift plus question mark, which takes you to the help menu. From there, navigate to the Apple menu, open system preferences, and access the keyboard shortcuts section. Make sure show accessibility controls is enabled for option plus command plus 5 to work. It is crucial to be able to toggle mouse keys on and off as they can interfere with typing. To do so, visit System Preferences, go to Accessibility, and under Pointer Control, find Alternate Control Methods. Click Options and ensure that Press Option key 5 times to toggle mouse keys is enabled. In conclusion, these techniques are valuable to know when unexpected situations arise and your primary input devices fail. Being able to type and control the cursor using alternative methods can be a game changer. Don't forget that you can always use a USB keyboard or mouse if you have one available or borrow one temporarily. Apple provides a helpful page with charts demonstrating which keys control cursor movements clicks, and other functions when using mouse keys. Additionally, if your Mac has Touch ID, there's a 3-press shortcut to enable mouse keys. Always explore your options and you'll be well prepared for any unexpected challenges with your Mac. Thank you for joining us on this journey to master Mac accessibility in challenging situations. Remember, that these skills are not just useful, they are essential in emergencies. I hope this video helps you out and see you in the next video.